Hey, what's up, Yoon fam? It is I, Mark Yoon, and today I'm bringing another hopefully exciting video. So what I got for you today is I wanted to give a little instruction on uh, how to write out, pronounce, and the meanings of some of the Korean characters in Soul Calibur, such as Hong Yoon Song and Song Mina. Uh, I've gotten a couple requests to do this, so I just wanted to cover for these characters. But, um... With that being said, we're going to jump right into this. So first part we're going to do is going to be how to write um, and pronounce their names. And then after that, I'm going to talk about the meanings behind their names. Um, another side note, I've decided that for the competition or contest as you would have it for your future Soul Calibur 7 stories, I'm actually going to choose uh, six of them. And... After the six are completed and I finish them on Thursday and Friday, I'm going to have you guys pick your favorite. So your guy, you guys are going to vote. I'm going to give them a number system between one and six. And we're going to do it kind of uh, just a tally style. So you guys in the comment section of that video are going to vote on your favorite. And the winner of that, I am going to personally draw them their original character uh, from Soul Calibur. So if you guys are interested in that, then uh, keep on commenting below. But we're going to start with today's story, and today we are going to start with their names. So before we actually get into their names, I'm actually going to have to go over just the main alphabet with you guys, just so you have a basis of where we're coming from. So if you're working this out with me, and for those of you that find this boring, I'm sorry. Uh, there's <laughs> nothing else Soul Calibur related in this video except for the names for today, so if you want to check off, I understand. But uh, for those of you that are wanting to stay and find this interesting, I would recommend you get a pencil and paper or uh, your iPad or your phone with a pen, something like that, that uh, we can actually do this together. So let's begin. So the first thing that we have to go over when we're talking about Hangul or the Korean alphabet is the consonants. Now, just like in the English language, there are consonants and there are vowels, but it's a phonetic language, so the characters actually come with sounds, and those sounds are how you can translate them. And if you'll notice, there are actually going to be 14 main consonants. Now, this doesn't include um, a special kind of consonant with a harder sound called song, but we're going to go over that down at the bottom below. So the first one we have here is pronounced Gyuk, and this makes a soft G or a soft K sound. Then we have Nian, which makes an N sound. Digut, which makes a D sound. Then we have Liol, which makes an R or an L sound. Same sounds because they can't differentiate. Then we have Miam which makes an M sound. B up, which makes a B. Shiot, which makes an S sound. Usually when it's by itself before a song, it has an SH sound to it, like a sh. Eung, which is an important character, makes an N and a G, but only if it is the last part if it's the bottom of the character. So that's ing. Jiut, which makes a J or a Z. It's very important. So it'd be like j, j. Then we have chiot, which makes a CH sound or a ch, ch. After that, we have kiuk, which makes a harder K sound. And after that, we have Tigut, which makes a T sound. Second to last one, we have P up, which makes a P or an F sound, soft F. And then finally, we have Hyut, which makes an H sound. So those are the basic 14 consonants. So if you get those down, that's pretty much more than halfway there and next we're going to go into the vowels now the vowels don't have names per se they are just named by their phonetic uh, sound so we'll go over that together 
there's 10 of them in total. Uh, not including uh, some of the special ones which were also Breeze Over. That character is Ah. So that makes Ah sound. Then you add a line and it becomes Ya. Ya. This character is called Aw. Aw. And similarly, if you add a line, it becomes Y'all. Now we have O. Add a line, guess what happens? Yo. Now flip that, and we have OO. Add a line, guess what we get? That's right, U. So you'll notice that when we're actually writing these, when you're doing the basic sound by itself, you can have the pronunciation, and just by adding that one extra line, you get the Y sound on it. We have another similar factor with this uh, moving forward with the W sounds, but uh, there is a little bit harder and used in very specific instances, so we will go over that later. But for all intents and purposes, we have these. So the straight line just looks like a hyphen it is uh, uh. And then the horizontal line is E. So you have a, ah, ya, o, yo, o, yo, u, yo, u, e. And that's it for the vowels. Now I told you we have some special ones. We're just going to briefly go over these because we don't really need them for today's video. But with the consonants, there are certain consonants that can double up. And those are called sang. We usually generally see these in bachims on the bottom, but they can show up in the front part of the consonant as well. So they make like a harder sound, so I'm going to briefly write them on screen while we're going over this, and you can pretty much guess the sound. But if you have sang gyuk like that, it's more of a hard K sound. Sang byuk can actually be written both ways, as i shown. So when you write, there's like a couple different ways you can actually write these. It's important that I need to note before moving on, though, that the circular character, iung, it's a very special consonant because it makes young sound if it ends up as the bottom of a word. But all Korean words need to have a consonant first, not a vowel. So if you have a vowel sound, such as my last name, which is Yoon, there's no consonant, right? It's just U and then Eon. So what you would need is the actual Eon on top of that, or first, to have a consonant. But when it's the first part of the word, it makes no sound at all. Just a little uh, grammar for you. And then we have some of these extra vowels, which we can go over a little bit later because they're more of a combination, so we don't really need to focus too heavily on them, so I'm just writing them out for you. We, again, don't need these for the names that we're doing today. This is just so you know. Uh, so if you want to write these down and follow up later, and let me know if you guys actually like these kind of little mini Korean lesson things going on, if it's interesting to you or not. I would go over probably some of the other meanings of the other characters' names, but I only know Korean and English, so we're going to have to stick with Korean for now. Alright, so that's it. That's everything you need to know to be able to start writing and reading Korean. And now that we have that basis out of the way, it's going to be a good time for us to start jumping into the names. So let's create a new layer here. And the first name that we are going to cover is Song Mi Na. Now remember, like I said before, guys, Koreans do not use hyphens in their names. That is a pronunciation issue or casual issue for mostly Americans and sometimes Japanese when they can't pronounce their names. So you're never supposed to write, when you're writing their names in English out like that, a hyphen. A lot of Koreans actually find it disrespectful. That would be like if we had a hyphen between our middle name and our first name. It just wouldn't make sense to us, right? 
Just a little forewarning, I know I told you guys about that before, I just wanted to remind you while we're going over this. So since these names come from characters, there's actually the language called Hangul. There's actually uh, a couple different ways that you can write them out in English. It's usually up to phonetic sound, and it's usually up to the Korean whether they like it spelled a certain way or not. I know my last name, Yoon, has been spelled probably three different ways. I spell it like Y-O-O-N, but it's also, I've seen it spelled uh, Y-E-U-N and Y-U-N as well. Now we're just going to put out our chart box for writing the name. So Korean names are generally three characters or uh, three syllables, rather. So when you put the characters together, we have to make that box like we did last time. Uh, if you remember, the box has four quadrants. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make three so we can get ready to write these two names. That is the first character that we're going to cover. 
We have one more to go through, and then we're gonna get to the meanings. Let's just go ahead and erase this name, and we'll still use the box template since it's the same. We don't have to waste time going over that again. You guys remember you would actually do this the same way that you would do this for uh, for Huang Sung Kyung. Remember, Huang is his family name, Sung Kyung is his actual name. Um, so we're going to do this with... Hong Yun Song right now, and then if you guys want to practice doing Kwong's name, you actually can. So we're going to go over this again together. There's the family name Hong Yun Song. And just to reiterate, we can write these in a few different ways. You could do Yoon Song. Like I said, these are usually just up to the preference of the person whose name it belongs to. I've seen it written Yuen like that, but that's usually the wrong pronunciation. Uh, it's usually people with a little bit weaker of an understanding of the English language. You would usually write it out like that, like E-U-N, if you want to do that particular spelling. Now, I use the first spelling that I put, the Y-O-O-N, because that's how I write my name. But ironically enough, my parents actually write it a different way. So his family name Hong, we're going to go over this first. So H sound, we need to use Hia. Now, we're going to place this in the center. And Watch how we do all these syllables. Next is O sound. You're gonna put that right below it, and then you finish off with N. Hong. So you see how it's centered right there? Because when you have the vowel that doesn't go next to it, one of the either O, Yo, U, U, or U, you put it below as opposed to putting it on the right. So there's Hong. And now we're gonna go over Yun. This one's easy for me because this is my last name, so it's super easy. Remember what I said? Since my name starts with U and his name starts with U, that character for U, and Ian, which is N, we obviously put Eung first because you need a consonant first. It doesn't matter what the word is, you have to have a consonant. That's why Eung doubles as a uh, consonant replacement, which has no sound at the beginning of a word, but when it's as used as a bachim at the end of a word, then it makes its normal ng sound, the ng. Hence the word yung. Now you guys may notice when I was calling out their names, like gyuk, neon, biuk, miyum, they actually start and end with the same character, and they also, as a rule of thumb, make the sound that they sound like. That's how they're spelled. And now we have song again, which we can just briefly do again. Even though we already did this for song mina, it's easy just to see it again with particular names, so you know that song and song are spelled the same. Now, the difference here being that Song is um, Song Min is family name, that's her last name, but Song is part of Yoon's actual name, so Yoon Song. And finalizing out again, we have the full name, which is Hong Yoon Song. I actually enjoy doing these videos. I know a lot of you might not be able to, but some of you who are more... Uh, prolific or want to actually understand the language because there's a lot of problem especially with the Korean languages we've gone over before um, with the interpretation from Americans or Japanese then uh, it's easy to say out this way so that's how you would write it so if we show that to any Korean person they'll know that their name is Hong Yoon Song All right, guys, just remember that you have the consonants, the vowels, the song consonants, and then the W sounding vowels, but we weren't going to go over them at some other point. For now, what I want you guys to do is get ready. Uh, I guess take a break if you need to, but we're going to go over the meanings of the names now, which is probably uh, why some of you are here. 
And this is how we can come up with the determination of the code names and the data files being certain characters, Yunsong in particular. Because uh, as we know, all of the codes that are actually in there are references to the meanings or the Hanja or the Chinese version variation of their actual name. Uh, and this would be their first name, not their family name. So it's not like a direct interpretation. That's why I said it's not Algol because Algol is the name of a certain star system, but Yunsong legitimately means uh, star. So without further ado, we're gonna move right into this. So we have on screen, we see that from Sino-Korean, song meaning completed, finished, succeeded, as well as, as other Hanja characters with the same pronunciation. Although it does appear as a single character name, it is more often used in combination with another character, such as Sung Mi Na. So, what is Mi? This is another short and popular Korean name meaning beautiful. Mi Cha means gorgeous. Mi Young means everlasting beauty. And another combination with Mi meaning beauty, this name means joy and beauty. So, if we want to talk about Sung Mina's representation of her name, her family name, is to succeed and her name means beauty. As we see here, also similar mo like words that come from different Chinese characters like elegant, graceful, or delicate. Now we're gonna talk about Yun Song. So in combination of Yun Hanja, meaning faith, belief, or meaning soft and sleek, and the song hanja, such as the meaning to attain, to achieve, to thrive, to flourish, magnificent, saint, master, meaning sound, voice, or tone. And then we see this last character, which Yun Song together directly means star. So that's how we get the star in the, uh, the code name to actually be Yun Song. It's the most accurate description that doesn't really apply to anybody else. Uh, we thought slightly it pertained to Viola or Algol, but like I said, those participation is not has to do with their names. It has to do with a loose translation of a move set or of a constellation. That's the secondary meaning of Algol's name in that instance. And now we have the family name Hong, which we already wrote how to spell it and spell it out in English. And in Korean and Chinese, it means wide or big. So his name altogether would probably be Big Star, but you don't separate the me you separate the meanings. So his family name um, is separate from his name. So his name would be Star, obviously. But then we have Hong, which is his family name, which means wider big. So that that's two different ways to go about that right there. And now you know why we got that from the code name. So with that being said, guys, I just want to remind you to keep your stories coming. I'm going to be looking at them all throughout the week. Just try to put them on that video in particular, because that's the one I'm going to be looking for when I choose the six. And thank you guys for staying with me. I know this video was a little tedious for those of you who didn't care. And for those of you who stuck with me to the end, I really appreciate it. And I want you to, if you made it to the end of the video, I want you to use the code you is for us and that's how i know you finish the actual video and with that being said guys i'm going to bring this video to a close i want to thank you again for watching and as always thank you and thank you hey what's up guys have you always wanted some sweet mark you merch maybe a thick you shirt maybe a shirt from squirt maybe my pretty face with my logo all over your body or a throw pillow or blanket or anything well you're in luck because I just launched my merch store and it is going to be available on Redbubble and you will find a link to it in my description box down below. It's got a lot of quality content and a lot of good stuff for you to pick up so you can show your support for the channel and just rep Mark Yoon.